Many plants reproduce asexually. This means that they produce offspring without using seeds. Asexual reproduction of plants occurs through their vegetative parts. What are the vegetative parts of a plant? The main vegetative parts of a plant. Roots, leaf, stem, bud. Let us discover the role of some vegetative parts in asexual reproduction. This is a potato. It bears buds, also called eyes, from which new plants arise. Potatoes are tubers. A tuber is a thickened underground part of a stem that is modified for storage of food. Potatoes are flowering plants. They can reproduce sexually by producing seeds. However, their asexual reproduction allows for a larger and quicker production. How do potatoes reproduce asexually? In April, potato tubers are planted in the soil. Each eye grows into a new plant. The plants bloom and form flowers. At the end of summer, the old tuber dies, the plant wilts, and potato tubers are extracted from under the ground. A rhizome is an underground stem from which roots and shoots can grow to produce a new plant. Many kinds of grass produce rhizomes. Some types of flowers, like iris, use rhizomes to multiply. How? The iris rhizome has a terminal bud that gives rise to a new iris plant in spring and two lateral buds. In winter, part of the rhizome dies and each of its two lateral buds develops into a new rhizome, daughter rhizomes, each having a terminal bud from which a new plant will grow in spring. Some rhizomes are also consumed or used as seasoning, like ginger and turmeric. Stolons, also called runners, are long and slender stems that grow at the surface of the soil. The strawberry plant reproduces asexually by sending out stolons from the mother plant. When the stolon touches the ground, it gets rooted and produces a new plant. The stolon coming from the parent plant brings the necessary nutrition to the offspring, enabling it to grow. Once the offspring is well rooted and has large leaves, it becomes independent. The stolon dries and the new plant separates from the parent plant. These are onions. An onion is a bulb, which is an underground storage organ present in some plants, consisting of a short stem surrounded by fleshy scales. Daffodils are bulb-forming plants that have trumpet-like flowers. In spring, the bulb containing all necessary reserves in its scales produces leaves, roots, and flowers. In early summer, the bulb withers and the plant dies. However, three new bulbs are present in the soil. Thus, the following season, three daffodils will grow instead of one.